Plus, you have some new information about what's been going on over in Alabama, especially in, I think, Jacksonville, Alabama. Yeah, the campus of Jacksonville State University took it very hard. We've been talking about that. Uh, this is also in Jacksonville. This is a Dollar General. You can see uh, the front door blown out. And uh, inside the store, you can see that the, the hung ceiling is already blown apart. And this gives you just a sense of how much power this had. The cinder block wall to the right side of that red box uh, movie rental uh, destroyed. And you can see that the block is bent even on the left side of your screen there to the left of that red box. So again, lots of power out in Jacksonville. The good news in Jacksonville is uh, that the students were on spring break. Uh, so not as bad as it might have been. Again, this is another picture from uh, LivestormChasing.com. They've been giving us uh, a tour all night of the damage in Jacksonville. Downed trees all over the place, big ones. So this, this happened just before 10 o'clock this morning. So it's been a couple and a half hours uh, since the damage was done there in Jacksonville, and they're starting to get uh, a sense. You can see on the right side of your screen there, uh, emergency vehicles on the scene. Again, there's that big, big down tree, one of many down trees. Uh, lots of roofs blown off there in, uh, in the Jacksonville State area. Uh, the troopers, again, on the area, uh, on the scene there, are describing it uh, as a war zone, and that's what they can see at nighttime. Again, back to that Dollar General, uh, a little bit better light on it. Now you can see inside the building uh, just how much wind came in there and did, did a lot of damage also inside the building and to the, to the concrete brick wall outside. So uh, the governor has sent extra resources to that part of Alabama to try to uh, help put things back together. Uh, today's Monday, so the kids will be off all week. I, I got a, a, a tweet, in fact, from a parent who says he's just so grateful uh, that his son is home here in Metro Atlanta and was not in the middle of that, David. Yeah, certainly a, a scary situation, no doubt, when the, that happens across those uh, college campuses there, Russ, and, and thank goodness uh, they were off on their uh, spring break area. Uh,